is so awesome. We were actually here last year, and it was an amazing event, but it's really something to see even more faces, and even more people who identify as male. That is really effing awesome. So my name is Ophelia DeSaris. And I'm Chris DeSaris. And that's Ryan. And we are the founders of an organization called Women Speak Out. Women with parentheses about the W-O because it's inclusive of no matter what gender you identify with. And if you don't identify with a gender inclusive of that too. The reason we um, formed Women Speak Out was pretty in-depth. I'm a survivor of childhood sexual assault, abuse, I am also a survivor of rape. I am also a survivor of DV. And I'm a survivor of childhood sexual abuse as well. It's not an easy thing to stand up in front of people. We're advocates in the community. I, by trade, am an assaulted women's and children's counselor advocate. I've been doing this for 10 years now. colleges, universities, high schools, we like to start them young and we like to talk about the reality of our culture and what it means, what abuse means. Rape doesn't just happen, it's inbred, it's in our community, it's in our societal ideas. We all know this, everybody's shaking their heads. I only have three minutes, but so I'm, I could go on for what, an hour and 45 minutes? But we're going to make it as brief as possible. There's really empowerment in being able to stand up like you are today, whether you're a survivor, or you are still identify as a victim, or you don't have a label anymore, because there's ownership in being here. So I want you to all yell as effing loud as you can, because you're proud of yourself and each other. Right now, do it. One thing I did, it's, it's great seeing all these kids here today because where do, who do kids go to to learn how to deal with injustice and uh, things like victim bashing? Where do they learn that from? They learned that from mom, dad, 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 mom, mom, and all adults. So it's great to see kids here watching you stand up to victim bashing. And, and, the, and the message is, the message is today, the message is to our institutions. To, to, to the way the court systems run, to our police department, to fa even family and friends. Never blame the victim, ever. She's gonna be an advocate. It's funny because we didn't, we were like, okay, we do this all the time and we go around and speak and then we were marching and we were hearing all these things. And I was hearing some cat calls too, not as many as last year, thank you. But um, we're here for her as well. We, we really are here for the kids. So thank you to Ta and Snowball Seattle and everyone. Our website and we have business cards, please bother us and come up and take one because I cannot get to all of you. Okay, I tried last year. Our website is womenspeakout.org, womenspeakout.org. Please hook us up. We have online resources. We have video projects. We speak in the community. We want to talk. You guys are awesome. Thank you. Thanks for speaking out.